actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is 2.13. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. He's making up. That is dark. You're away. That's good. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? My head's splitting and spinning too. Basically, I'm in real good shape. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Yes, that's that's a great way to start. Do you remember what happened to you? Okay, I remember leading an expedition through the swamps. I'm assuming that was me, actually, the stalk at the front. Bunch of scientists, then the emission. That's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Then why does it look so much like the zone? Please tell me that's a joke. Or am I really this stupid? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? Okay, yes. Well very, very much so. I'm Lebedev, the group leader. Lebedev. And I'm responsible for everyone here. Lebedev. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky. And you are in our base right now. Clear Sky? We pick you up in the swamps after the emission. Okay, you're a group. I got lucky then. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Okay. Oh, um, guess that's by. All right. I can't remember his name. Lives in red. Uh, I can't move, dude. I can't. I can't. I'm. No, I'm moving. I'm moving. That's okay. I'm fine. Talk to the barman. Okay. Before we talk to the barman, okay. Crouching works. Can I pick things up? Do I have my... Torch! Torch! Yes! Always check your facilities. This is... Inventory! I have an inventory. And... Leather jacket. Three kilograms. Common garb for a novice stalker. It won't save you from bullets or anomalies. But it's still better than nothing. Does not hold any artifacts by default, but can be upgraded to hold up to two artifacts. Oh, I can't start with artifacts. So. Oh. Where's it got? Thank you. Protection against pretty much crap against everything. All right. Stamina. Health. Armor condition. Fire protection. Acid protection. 
radioactive content. That's how radio. That's how much radiation I've taken. All right. Okay. Radiation protection. These are my resistances. And I am called Scar, and I'm a mercenary with 200 rubles. Is it still max weight, total weight? Okay. And my PDA. Oh God, with its with its very odd interface. That is me. That is Ask Barman about the Clear Sky Base. Okay. Secondary tasks none. Clear sky, clear sky, mechanic specialization, leather jacket, Viper 5, trip trader, guide, important character, important character. Okay, let's have a look. Where, where the hell are we? Swamps! Do I have anything else? Any garbage? Yantar? Army Warehouse, Limonsk, Chernobyl, okay, Swamps, all right, Cordon, fair enough, so, Sprint, Yep. Can't pick anything up at the moment. Nothing seems to... Uh... Whoa! That's a... teeny bit dark. This is the Clear Sky Camp. Yeah, this may be a little on the dark side. <laughs> I'm a good. So I can either walk along the roof, which strikes me as rude. Or it would, if they weren't doing it. Hello, can we talk? Yes, we can, we can talk. Petya Monster, what's your problem? We're just sitting here taking a little break. It's nice and quiet, no one around. Okay, tell me about the place. Yep, you're asking the right person. No one knows the swamps like Clear Sky. We've been here since, who knows? It's hard to keep track of time in a place like this. Down here, the flow of time is about as dreary and gloomy as the scenery. Pretty soon, you'll lose count of days. Anyway, if you want to get out of here, you'll have to find a guide from among the clear sky people. Giving you directions would be utterly useless. All right, I saw one on my map. Faction clear sky. What are you doing here? Waiting for news from our guys. They're deep in the swamps on a mission. In times like these, they might need our help. What's new in the zoo? Tell you what, these... Oh, how can I help you? I need something. Return item. Modified PMM. You want a modified gun. A PMM. Is that is that right? Sure. While out on a night mission, a clear sky squad ran into a boar lair. It prob it's probably too late to save the men, but the squad commander had a modified PMM. The pistol will be useful to the faction. Return it. Sure. Quest. I will go down though, I was disturbing his peace and quiet. Okay, so they don't mind me walking up and down on the roofs. Okay. Oh, what was this room? It's like a commons room, isn't it? 
Hello. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. Professor Bean Polev. Oh, very funny. I am... Um, I've seen all types of folks in the zone. Some came here chasing their dreams, some came in search of the zone's wonders, and some are just looking for loot. Why does Clear Sky study the zone? That's an odd sentence. But let's go for it. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be, or indeed are, completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Naturally. So, what the hell is the zone? Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. Okay. Why is the zone having the shakes? Is the, are those the emissions? Know anything about that? How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. I wish I knew who this is. Do I? Okay. That's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Is it really within man's power to do so? Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. In what way exactly? What is the point of the rescue plan? Uh, re that seems to be a daft question. Surely stop the zone from going kapowie or something and destroying the planet? No? I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. Lebedev. All right, thank you. Thank you. If you need me, you know where to find me. Okay, what the hell? Why was I... Okay. Lebedev. Oh, is that the bar? That... I'm probably supposed to go there, aren't I? This really is a tiny bit on the dark side. Hello? Dude, I haven't slept for three days. Or was it for? Let me catch some Zeds. Yeah, sure. No, my bad. My bad. Lebedev. You head over to pay the barman mind, a visit. Have a good drink and come back then. No use talking to you now. You look like a controller has rearranged your brain. Alright, I need to have a drink at the bar before he'll talk to me any further. Alright, okay. I mean, I suppose, realistically, there's no light on in here. Why would it not be? There's no windows, no light. The only light is over here. There's no reason it wouldn't be pitch black. Good grief. Glad to see you. Got any new questions for me? Yeah. Why haven't you fixed your lights? Okay. So we're in a swamp. Uh, 
Hello, you are. Ivan Trodnik. You need to stop hanging around here, man. Got business, Lebedev? Then do as he says, period. Uh, I will talk to him. Okay, that means get the hell out of here until you've spoken to the main guy. This is not a bar, but... Hello? Fedka Pintle, what's your problem? We're just sitting here taking a break. It's nice and quiet with nowhere around. All right, he's been a bit rude. Are you a trader? You have... Right there. I am Holy a cow, you're as pale as a vampire. You need to visit the bar. That's what you need. Yes, I'm going to the bar. Everyone tells me I need to get the bar. Docent Suslov. I am... Um, you got something for me? No, no reward. Okay, so you're kind of like the quarter... Oh, trade. Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. Okay. Uh, how much can I... No, I don't have enough for that. How about that? I do have enough for that, but no ammo. I could get that, but no ammo. Hunting rifle. That's a, isn't that a shotgun? But I, I remember that. That thing was awesome. It was kind of like... If I remember rightly, it was... Very, very accurate. Oh god, the guitars are back. The guitars are back. Oh dear. And it's not going to let me loot anything. I am a terrible person, aren't I? That, that is my go-to move. Oh look, somewhere new. Let's see what I can pick up. Nobody will mind. Can I? Yeah, I like to know where I am as well, so I do like to explore the neighbourhood so that I know the lay of the land. Oh, hello. Again, if I'll be totally honest, it's because I'm hoping there's something to steal. Take, borrow. You know. How do I... Can I climb down ladders? I've forgotten. Oh. I do it kind of automatically. All right. It spins you around. Interesting. So... Is that it, apart from the barman? Should I talk to the barman now? Nope. I've found some other distraction. Okay. I'll be there in a moment. You kind of look like another hey, trader. You, look like that? you need to get some fresh air or something. On that note, we got an open air bar. I got it. A bar. I see what you're getting at. Up upgrade. To be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. Oh, I can upgrade my guns here. My weapons. Need something upgraded or repaired? I need a need weapon first, though. You repair things? Oh, my God, I can't tell you how much that is, like, good news. That is, like, awesome news. We have the option to repair things. Hello? Toilets? That was... No, that was the buildings was in. Okay. Oh. So. Oh. Can I go in this one? No. And notices. Welcome back from the afterworld. Um, you're welcome. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. 
Okay, there's not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when an emission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained consciousness here. So now you tell me what happened. Verde, you dream can I tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. Okay, and how did you get here? I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me here. Can you turn the music down? <laughs> I'm kidding. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. They didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cole. Yeah, I, I see that. About this place, would you give me a clue as to where the hell we are? In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. Okay, I'm no stranger to the zone, yet I've never heard of Clear Sky. How do things work around here? You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev. Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. And he can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor. But he ain't like the others of his train. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. He knows what stalkers go through to get their loot, and he respects that. Cole, leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libendev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. Pop in any time you feel like chatting. I will. And seriously, I see you. Just a minute. Turn the radio down, it's a little disturbing. Okay. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. You guys are basically zone fanboys. So what are you hiding? As I said, we are researchers. We're trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. Okay, and that emission was peculiar because... No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. 
But now you can access parts of the zone that had been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions and are now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. Okay. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. I see. How can I help you? How can you help me what? Remember? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. Okay, so why have you just not shot me then? What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if going. we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, what do you tells want me to you're do? a pro at that sort of thing. Your experience can save the lives of many This is the second boys. outpost, we're under attack, I repeat, we're under attack. And Help. there we That's go. That's enough chit chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Okay. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I am... Um, a little, I think? Great. Get over to the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Okay. Go to the tr trader. A fighter is on his way to Go to the trader. And get some gear. Roger oh, that. Right. Okay. Hello there. Hey. At last. Here, oh. take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Shotgun. Okay, so we get. What the hell's an echo detector? Bandage five, first aid kit, two anti radiation drugs. Hey, is it always this stressful I've here? I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Okay, 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 okay. Right, um... Echo detector. This anomalous activity detector with a built-in Geiger counter produces an alarm signal when you, approach, when you approach an anomaly. It can also register the presence of artifacts and measure the distance to the nearest one. When closed... The device registers only radi oh God. only radiation and anomalies. To switch the artifact search mode on, raise the device front cover. Okay. So I've got a sawn off shotgun, which is pretty good condition. Accuracy damage is good. Handling's good. Okay, this this is a little better than I expected. Damage, accuracy. It's not too bad, is it? Okay, and you want me to go and speak to the guy? Okay, I still can't take the gun out. Okay. What you need, stalker? Um. So we're going to the outpost. Yes, I'm ready. I am ready. Take me. All right, I'll blindfold you until we get there. You understand? I'm sure we must keep the route secret. Um. Okay. I suppose that. Yeah. Oh! I like it! Alright. Okay, let's see. Crouching. I can crouch. I can crouch. Dagger? Pistol. No different firing modes. 
very, very slow to aim. Ugh. Okay, nothing there. Good old binoculars. Anomalies. Okay. What else do I... Awesome! I still have my bolts. I still have my bolts. Brilliant. So, um... I've got to find... Respond to the help signal from the clear sky outpost. Okay. Um... Um, yes. Am I going that way? I think I am. Is there anything else? I think I'm going this way. Can I change the bolts that way? No. Good old... Now, I've got this echo device that... Okay, that's kind of cool. So I can have this out. But what does it do? Does it do anything? Okay. It doesn't seem to actually do anything. What? What is beep? What is beep? I can't you see them. Close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. Okay, so I've got to get close. Okay. Oh god. I took damage. I took that. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Um. Oh God. Which one did I set for bandages? Bandages. That one. So if I want to find artifacts. Oh God. The beeping and the blue flashing is artifact. The annoying beep is anomaly warning. I think I'm getting close to something. It's like freaking out big time. Okay. And I'm not hitting an anomaly. Oh, wait, what? Anomaly. Oh, God, that sound is killing me. Where am I going? I'm, I make to, do I need to... I'm going in this direction. I have to get... Oh, no, maybe I go through that. I don't know, which way am I going? Am I supposed to be heading in this direction? Seems to want me to go in this direction, but... Oh, God! Oh! That's... That's the... Okay, good, 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 good. Am I going in this direction?
Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. I can have this out. And can I have... No. All right. Oh, God, I see... I saw one of those dogs. Okay. Someone's up there. Who are they fighting off? Oh, we, 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 we got... Oh, my crap. Crap, 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 crap. Has he seen me? Has he seen me? Well... The rest seem pretty dead. Can I? Run for the tower. Oh. The monsters can't get you there. Run for the tower. Okay. Do I? Here? Oh, I do. Ascend the tower. I'm ascending. I am ascending. Something's chasing me. You're right on time, bro. I am. Real low on ammo, so let's make the best of it together. Okay. Kill the boars. Uh. Yeah. From here. How do you want me to do that? Let's have a... Okay. Where... Attention all fighters. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now. What? Okay. Did he just die? Did he just... I am not in a good place up here, but there's, there's things down there. I'm not... Where? Okay. Task cancelled. Okay, I'm. Did I fail? Did I? Did 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 I fail to s save him? I mean, I was supposed to be shooting boars, but I didn't really get much of a chance to shoot boars. Okay. Lebedev. What have I You dude? survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wait, wait. Don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. You're basically telling me I've got superpowers that are going to kill me, kind of thing, right? Why do the emissions occur this often? That's not the question. But fine. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo. A place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. Okay, now this actually happens before the first, you know, the Shadow of Chernobyl thing, so... Someone got past the scorcher, what risks does this person pose for the zone? We're, we're, we're talking about Shrelok. 
It's hard to Strelo? say. Strelo. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the brain scorcher. Is there a real way to pass the scorcher, even a theoretical chance? Probably. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, okay. and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. What is the danger of such frequent emissions, apart from the fact that everyone keeps dying when they're caught in them? I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We're trying to prevent that disaster. That seems reasonable. Um, prevent the disaster, you're not even strong enough to fight off bandits. That doesn't seem very polite. And it wasn't bandits, by the way, it was... boar things. You're right. But we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. Lots of confidence you've got there, so what's the plan? We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. Why are you telling me this, of all people? There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. Um, I'm not sure I want to jump right in the thick of things. Why do I have to take part in this? Um, do I have any choice? I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us, and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. I didn't think so, no. Looks like my options are pretty limited. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Uh, yes, of course. Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Cordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Sidorovich! Okay, so how do I get there? Through the swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Alright, you want me to go off and kill lots of bandits. And then you'll help me get to Kordan. Fair enough, I suppose.